Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Well, today we're doing a little exaggeration. It's actually going to be my tractor story, and we're going to have some fun with that. And today I'm with Rod Miller. Rod. Lou, good to see you. Good to see you. And with that being said, let me grab the camera. Rod, what is it that we're looking at today? We're looking at a 1946 Oliver Row Crop 70 that was created to honor all of our veterans. And let's take a look at our featured attraction. So come on back with me. Now, how long have you had this one? I've owned this for a little over four years. Um, <laughs> spent two years restoring it and getting it painted to what you see today. And this is sitting on your lawn. And so when people come by, just what is the reaction when people see this? I have a lot of people that stop by. I've had uh, a newspaper that's done an article on it. It's been featured in four different magazines. Um, it's a unique tractor. Um, I made it this way again to honor all veterans and also dedicated it to my father who was a World War II veteran. And you were a farmer growing up. I grew up on a farm. Um, my dad farmed with Oliver tractors and that's one of the reasons why we went with this. The other reason I, I chose this tractor is that it's got full sheet metal on all the sides so it was easy to design it this way and so, paint it this way. So what, where in your head, and it looks great, where in your head did you say, I think I'm gonna paint it like the flag? Well, I, I was kicking it around one day. I saw one that another person had done similar to this and decided, you know what? His was honoring America's farmers. I decided to do one to honor our veterans. So this was my version. Uh, my grandson actually drew it with, drew a picture of it with crayons. Really? To create the tractor, to look at the tractor, and from there we, we went with it. Look at that. Alright, and we're going to actually start it up and show you all the pieces of that. Let's, uh, let's open up the one side. Let's show them what's under the hood, shall we say. Uh, what I did was kept it all original under the hood to please all of the Oliver people out there who okay. prefer to see things in green. It still has the original serial number plate. Oh, look at um, that. Everything is painted Oliver green and as it should be inside. That looks great. All right, let's take a look at the other side. Now, Rod, th this is this is an original tire from 1946, too, I can tell. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> it's worn pretty bad, Yeah. but it still holds air, and I wanted to keep it because these, t these tires are no longer available in this size. Wow. And it's significant to the year this tractor was built. U.S. farm tractor. What is this right here? This is the... The belt pulley, uh, I also have on, so on the belt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It runs in, in 1946. This is how they powered most machines. I uh, put one of the branches of, a decal of each one of the branches on here. Yeah. To kind of honor all the branches of the military. And the row crop. The row crop is significant to a, a tractor that is used primarily in the, in the Midwest where crops like corn and soybeans are planted in rows. It's a tricycle type tractor, so it's designed to go between rows. So the tire fits between the row? Tires fit between the, the it. rows. Okay, understand, versus a pulling tractor. Right. All right, let's open this side. Again, this is painted, still painted green. Uh, this has a magneto, uh, where most tractors today have distributors. It is a, what's unique to the Oliver is that they were one of the first tractor companies that came out with a six-cylinder engine. So this is a six-cylinder engine. Most tractor companies were using two and four-cylinder engines. You know, before we shut that, let's do this. Show me how you start this. Okay. And I'm going to actually open that before we start it. I figured out getting on the seat part. <laughs> On an old tractor like this, yeah. you don't have a key ignition. Uh, it has a ignition switch there. 
and then you press the starter and away we go. This is your transmission, it's a six-speed transmission. I'll tell you, Rod, I'm going to let you jump off there. <laughs> what a fun toy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it is great. Um, I want the viewers to let me know, what do you think? Should Rod be doing tractors? My tractor story with Rod Miller? Thanks so much. Rod, really love the look of this. We'll take just one more quick look. Love the way you've painted it. Thanks for being a true-blooded American. Thanks for being a great neighbor. Rod, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you, Lou.